Hello and welcome. Here are some troubleshooting steps that should hopefully fix the most common issues. The first thing to try is the classic turn it off and back on again. It sounds a bit cliche but you'll be surprised how often this fixes problems. Now if you're getting a message saying Siri not available, go to your control center and make sure you have either Wi-Fi and or mobile data turned on and try again. If you can't hear Siri's responses, first off start Siri then turn the volume up. Do a search. What time is it in Mumbai? If you're still not hearing anything, turn your phone to the side and just make sure silent mode is turned off. Flick to the top. Now try a search. What time is it in Mumbai? If you're still not hearing anything, go to settings, scroll down the list until you get to Siri and search. Go to Siri responses. You may have this selection ticked only with hey. You may have when silent mode is off but if you want a response, select always. Let's test that. What time is it in Mumbai? It's 1.44 in Mumbai, India. A great way to solve Siri problems is to turn Siri off and then turn it back on again. Go to settings, scroll down the list until you get to Siri and search. Then we want to turn off these first three options. When you enable these two again, Siri will be enabled and this clears a lot of problems. If you need a hand setting up Siri, check out the link in the description where I have a detailed setup to help you out. If issues persist, you can try resetting network settings. Go to settings, then to general, scroll down towards the bottom to reset, then select reset network settings. Please make sure it's reset network settings, the third choice here. Once you reset the network settings, you'll also need to re-enter any Wi-Fi passwords you've used. Occasionally, Siri won't respond to voice commands. This could be caused by sound recognition being turned on. You can turn this off by going to settings, then down to accessibility. Then just make sure we go to sound recognition and turn this off. If you're getting the type to Siri screen when starting Siri, the way to get rid of this is to go to settings, then scroll down the list to accessibility, scroll down towards the bottom to Siri, then just turn off type to Siri. Now when you do a search, you'll see the typical Siri logo. And the final fix I have is if Siri is taken up the whole screen when searching, you can change this by going to settings. Once again, we go to accessibility. Towards the bottom, Siri. And we want to enable show apps behind Siri. This allows the current app to remain visible while Siri is active. Let's test that. Hopefully one of these tips will help fix your Siri. If it has, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Even if it hasn't helped, please let me know. Maybe as a community, we can sort you out. Thank you very much for choosing my video. Have a great day ahead and stay safe.